welcome back to the channel we are back at it again today we are going to some yard sales uh, not that many this weekend but we're gonna make the best of it let's go see what we can find to resell today I did look this up and it just wasn't worth picking it up for resale Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. How much is your cake knife? Oh, okay. Like 25. Oh, this is pretty. How much is this bowl? That oh, one's 40. This... this one's 30. Oh, okay. That's very pretty. Would you do any less for like all three of them? So that would be 95. I don't know, you would do like 80. What about just for the two bowls? What would you do for the two bowls? Okay. All right, I'll take those. Okay. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. your candle? Two. Two? Okay. So I'll put the bow back on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is, this is a reed diffuser. over here excuse me sorry <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get the candle. She said two dollars on it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Is there another sale in here, dude? I was just cutting it. We were here 
few minutes ago. There's yeah. another sale on Fraser Lane. Yeah, where yeah, is Fraser? Yeah, Do you have I'm any sure. idea? No, I actually don't even live here, but my friend lives here. He's been here for that, like everything. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Oh, I know. Like a diff different size glasses. Yes. These things can go here. Oh, those are nice. for the set. These are nice. I'm gonna take these. Okay. I'm gonna leave those there yes. while I while I look. So nice. Are these like koi? What are these koi fish? They, I don't. They're, they're. I don't know if they're koi fish. Oh. I'm not, but they are like lennox. Yeah, they're nice. I yeah. think I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. Would you do eight on the set? For the. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's also these two are also lennox pieces, and this is a set okay. for just five. The duck is actually pretty mm -hmm. cute too. Oh, and that one. Yeah. Little duck. I think I'll add the duck. Okay. Can I do a bag? Okay. Sure. Sure. See what else we have over here. Oh, that's like a little oil burner. Two dollars. Those are very pretty. That brand never sells for me. These are cards. Oh, that's the coffee. Oh, is this four bowls in here? There's four bowls. Okay, so I'm gonna get that set too. Okay. I love this. I love this box. I know. That's what I was like. The boxes. The boxes. Oh my gosh, really the boxes cool. are so sturdy. I love them. Oh, where'd you get them from? Marshalls. Oh, okay. Well, that was actually a gift from my aunt, but I have like those boxes, like the ones that have like the magnetic um, folds on them. Uh-huh. I absolutely adore them. They're great for storage. Wow, this is super cool. I love that. I love that. And how much is this set? This is $25 because this is Capo de Monte. Yeah. We, we literally hand carried it into the country because my mother really? was terrified of putting it in the suitcase. Oh, okay. So so okay. Okay. And then I'm going to get that too. I'm not sure how much that is. Okay. Oops. This is a neat set. 32? Okay. Oh, and that is, I'm sorry, I forgot you wanted the other. 32 and 5 is 37. 37. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Are you putting anything else out? There is some more stuff, but it's a lot of dishware and stuff like that. Oh, so. well, I like that. Okay. Where's that at? It is it's actually right here. Oh, and, do, and do, and do you mind if it is inside? So. Do you mind if I take a no, look at it? Yeah. Yes. It's right here. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice this little gal. How much is this figure? That's 10. 10? Mm -hmm. so it's 37, three, one, and two, and three for that. So you gave me 40. I did. And there's yep. three for that. I'm gonna. And there is other Yadro pieces. I just saw them in the box. There's. Okay. Are they in that one? I don't know. I'm gonna take that one. Okay. There's one of these boxes out here. Oh, okay. Is it where the other boxes are? The Adro is still in there originally. Oh, there boxes. it is. Yep. 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 There's two more in there. One's actually an ornament, and this is another little angel. Oh, that's a little this angel. This was 20 from before, but it's smaller, so I'll do 10 on this. Let's see what that one. Oh, a little baby. Yep. Oh, and that's an ornament. Oh, and that's the ornament. Okay. Yep. What's in the yellow box? That is a coffee, uh, an espresso set. 
Oh, oh I think we have two, two of them. them. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, okay. So twenty and ten. Um, I'm sorry. What was that? This is twenty, and oh, this one's ten. You told me it was ten on this one. I thought this was ten. Okay, ten and ten. Twenty dollars for both. Okay, yep. <laughs> sounds good. And, and these are candles. Candles. Oh, that was already that yeah, I already that paid you for, right? For, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I paid you for all that other. Okay. Thank stuff. you. All right, I'm gonna have to probably make like two trips. Okay. Like, do you want help? Yeah. Sure. You got this too, right? No. Yes, I did get that. Oh yeah. yes, yeah. the coffee. I apologize. Yes, you did. And they're all in there. They actually have. Did you see the little plates? I did. Yes, they're adorable. Okay. So this can probably That's go so in here. It's like you, a different time. Use it in life. Yeah, but you know it's what? It's beautiful. Oh my God, yeah. Okay, let me go. That's got the Lennox. I wrapped it up in newspaper and, for you. Okay, okay, perfect. Just making sure I got everything now. Right, let's see what we have here. Dryer sheet dispenser. That's a good idea. She's got a couple minor issues. I wonder how much it is. I'm not sure if I could clean that up. Oh, it's got these uh, issues too. The strap is kind of coming apart. So, forget about it. Kind of nice for corn, those plates. Or maybe no. on, can I put it like underneath? Yeah. I just don't want yeah. somebody else to buy this stuff. Put it underneath it. Just making a little, making a little pile. Mm. 
Has this been used? Never. It's so just open? It. Yeah, so we so she works for the company my wife and we need three of them because we have three separate routers on this house, so we couldn't use it. Oh, okay. Um, she could probably discuss it more with you. Do you have any questions about it? Yeah. It just was open and never used. Would you do 20 on sure. it? Okay, I'm gonna put it underneath here with my other stuff. actually look like they might be decent. I'm gonna grab them. Those are there. She goes, you have a tree somewhere? I'm not like, sure. Oh my god. <laughs> go to a basketball? I'm doing You go baseball? I'm going basketball. Sure you want basketball? Well, there's lots of choices, but you if, if you're going to be a true collector, then you want to I would say you Would you get teams? I have Tio. No, they're not small. Small leagues are all different. Eye massager. Huh. Probably should have picked that up uh, for the price. I think it was for vehicles to read codes, um, but I couldn't find anything on it. And then as soon as I walked away, someone else picked it up. Great. Cheaper, better. Oh, okay. This is so soft. How much is this? Two dollars. Two dollars. Okay. So I can add this to my my stuff then. Sure. The, like, the I have thing? I have the pile under the table. The one with the router, right? Yep. Whatever the heck it is. Yep. Yep. So how much t this house? I don't know. It's hers. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh all the t-shirts are fifty cents. Oh, okay. So a dollar for that one. Yeah. Two dollars for that one. Yeah. So she owes me two for the shirt. She has three. Oh, does she have three? No, two. No, yeah. three. Yeah, two dollars. Nice shirt. Oh, Look at those nine. fish. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, Eddie Bauer, and these are like um, lined. Fleece lined for winter. These are pretty nice. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, don't know what they are. Missing the tie. Okay, uh, definitely gonna get these. Definitely gonna get these. Oh, what do we have here? Lululemon. Oh, are these really Lululemon? I don't know. Oh, they are. I wonder what size they are, though. Here's a little backpack. Do you know what size these are? Uh, they're gonna say, let me actually look on my phone and I'll tell you right now. I was gonna do 10 for these, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, they're brand new. I wore them one time. Some Patagonia. They're kind of, this one's really worn. This one looks pretty decent. Pints and pies. Easton. I've eaten there before. <laughs> Where's that at? Brand new. Is everybody. Thrasher. Yeah, My daughter would like that. I think I'm going to get that. You'll get your steps in today. Nice. It's got some issues. Oh, we get a Carhartt. Eight. Size eight? Yep. Perfect. All right, we're getting a lot of cool stuff here. I think we're going to wrap it up here. Okay, so I definitely should have picked up that Code Seeker. Um, really didn't know too much about it, but I had a gut feeling I should have picked it up. And I definitely think I should have. I couldn't find any comps um, on eBay, but uh, I, that's something I probably would need to search a little bit longer for but i definitely should have picked it up went back someone had grabbed it but i found a lot of great stuff at that sale anyhow so super excited i spent like 85 dollars on everything that i did get so not complaining okay guys so we are going to do a little bit of a haul here but quite honestly i don't even think i'm going to show you every single thing that i bought yesterday because it's kind of all over the place right now i am a disorganized mess at the moment and I need to get it in check. Um, so this is, this is why sometimes when I do these, um, like town wides or like just tons of yard sales, it's easier to not do a haul, but we're going to do a haul today because, um, the filming <laughs> was not fantastic. My GoPro ended up dying, um, right before I picked up some really cool stuff. So anyhow, Let's just get into it. It's going to be a partial haul, guys, to be honest. This is not everything I picked up. But, and some of it you definitely saw on camera, but we'll uh, we'll go over, go over it a little bit more. Anyhow, let's start with this gal because she's sitting right here. This is a Cabbage Patch doll. She doesn't look like the typical Cabbage Patch doll. She is a soft face. Um, she is from 1984, I believe, if I memory serves me correctly I don't think she has her original clothes she's got the Xavier Roberts on her foot um she's got her tag on the back which looks like this I will show this to you even though you probably can't see it real well and that is her tag so it looks different than the typical cabbage patch ones that you see um but like I said she has a soft Face. so she's like all fabric she's not plastic or anything uh and some of these 
some of these can go for several hundred dollars. Um, like some can bring good, good money. I will throw comps up on the screen for you. Um, she's probably maybe like a hundred dollar doll, maybe a little bit more, uh, probably going to list her for about 150, um, with best offer. I did pay 30 for her. I paid a lot. The seller wanted 40, as you can see, but I ended up paying 30 for her. She's got a little bit of marking to her nose, but the buyer can clean that up. I am not messing with it. Um, I was consulting with my friend, Michelle. Um, she sells a lot of Cabbage Patch and stuff. And she said that this type of fabric, it will spread. So <laughs> I'm not taking that chance. Um, I mean, it's barely a mark, but I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, yeah, so super cool find. And I, I picked this up probably one o'clock in the afternoon. So she was just sitting there. Um, I was actually stopping at some sales on my way through back home. Um, let's see what other randomness do I have. This is a Pandora ornament. There are a select few that do pretty well, but for the most part, like this Santa boot, but it was a dollar and I'm hoping to find a few more of these before Christmas because I like to lot these together. So I will put this to the side and see if I find any more and lot them together. Uh, I got this pair of Toms. These are kids. They're a youth size three. Uh, how Wizard of Oz are these, right? I mean, they're not heels, of course, but uh, I think someone may buy these for, you know, their kid's Halloween costume because what little kid is going to be walking around in heels anyway? I don't know. So these would complement. So they have the dust they actually have two dust bags. Not sure why, but anyway, I did pay $5 for these. I'm going to say probably going to sell for 20 bucks, honestly, maybe 25. It's still new with the box. And then I picked up a bunch of American Girl doll like minis. And there's quite a few in here. I'm not even sure of all of their names. These are probably I'm going to I'm going to guess like 5-inch dolls. Uh, but let's see, we have, and we have some extra clothing. That one's got some marks to it. So we have, these might be like the original cast of characters. We have seven of them. And they look to be in pretty good condition. Um, you might not be able to tell that from the way I'm displaying them. But the hair doesn't. <laughs> The hair doesn't look too bad. <laughs> and then look at her. <laughs> she had a rough night. She needs to get it together. We've all had those though, haven't we? Um, but anyway, so I have seven of these dolls. I paid $5 for all of them. And, you know, the extra little few clothes or accessories or whatever. So... I'm not sure what I'll get for these. Um, and if I know by the time I edit this video, I will pop it up on the screen or maybe I'll even pop up my listing to show you what I've listed them for or possibly sold for. I don't know. Anyway, it was a good price. You cannot beat that price. Uh, okay, so the one sale, right when my GoPro died and um, I didn't have extra batteries with me yesterday. Um, I stopped at this sale and they were so cheap. So I bought a couple fun things. <laughs> this is a wooden middle finger, a very exaggerated middle finger. Um, this is hand carved. Uh, I want to say she said she bought it in the Bahamas or something. So, you know, probably one of those like open air markets with the artisans. Um, I just thought this was so funny. I might display this for a little while. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, it'll probably go up for sale. I just, very, very neat and unique. $2 for that. Uh, I got a set of new Hearthstone Pottery double old fashioned glasses for $2 from there. Uh, these are in the Woodland pattern. It's very rare that you find 
Heartstone glasses to begin with, especially like new in the package. So I actually listed these already. I listed them last night for $65 plus shipping. I found a set of the Heartstone gingerbread. Uh, they were they were probably like Tom Collins glasses or just, you know, larger tumblers, basically. Uh, I found those last year and they sold in the fall for $75 plus shipping. So yeah, I listed these at 65. Definitely, definitely hard to find. Like I said, hard to find in general, especially, you know, new, new in the package. So that D-O-F you see um, just stands for double old fashioned. Uh, however, most people are not gonna drink cocktails out of these. They're just gonna use them, you know, with their dinnerware set or whatever. Uh, oh, I did get a candle from there too. Uh, it's just a little coffee, I believe, candle. Uh, you know, like one of the ones you see at TJ Maxx, but it's so, it smells, I was going to say it so smells amazing. It smells so amazing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet or not. We'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, and then, then this is the freaking mother load right here from this same sale that I went to. Look at this box. $10 for this entire box. The entire box, $10. Like, look at all these. These are the Papilio, you know, by Birkenstocks. These all have wear, but not, not a tremendous amount. So these are like a dollar a piece. I got that pair. They're all a size 38. Um, which is like, it says L7, M5, Lady 7 really isn't, like usually, a 38 in Birkenstocks is usually more of like a, I feel like it's more of like a seven and a half or something, but I don't know, people know their Birkenstock sizes. So anyway, this pair, this pair, I think these are like the Giza style, if I remember correctly these ones these are very these are very nice these are like barely worn um and people will buy Birkenstocks even with wear to the footbed it happens my sandals right now they're like Birkenstock knockoffs um just because the only thing I don't like about Birkenstocks is this little ridge that they put in there that drives me crazy so my Birkey knockoffs don't have that so otherwise, like if Birkenstocks didn't have that, I'd wear these like all the time. Anyway, this is another pair. Pretty darn good condition. Like I said, these have like, you know, varying degrees of wear or debris. This one's got like some straw in it or something. Uh, this one too, it's got some leaves. This pair, and this one's definitely got a little more wear. For the most part, I am just going to list these at 25 or $30 and just try to blow them out pretty quick. Uh, but super nice find. And then I got these, these are super cool. They they definitely have wear to them, but for a dollar, look at these. These are Asics and they're men's 14. So they're huge, but they have like the sugar skulls. I don't know, I just thought those were cool, but this was like a super exciting find. You never find Birkenstocks this many Birkenstocks for like so cheap. So that was freaking amazing. Ooh, get them back in here. Oh, at the beginning of the video, I did pick up some Tiffany, Tiffany um, bowls. I don't think I'm gonna bring those back over and unwrap them because you guys kind of saw them pretty well I think uh so the one stop I don't even know what I did with half of this crap <laughs> okay so the one stop was um off camera like they were barely barely set up they were still setting up uh but the lady was hanging uh some purses up she had them hanging by the time I like walked up and uh she wanted 15 each. So I'm like, well, you know, what would you do for all of them? We ended up settling on $60. So basically $10 per bag. 
but I got some nice ones and they're in very good condition from what I saw. Um, not sure if they were, oh well, yeah, probably used a little, but I mean like really good condition. So I got this lug bag. It is a lug mambo. Definitely sold it, sold the mambo style before. So I got this lug. I also got it in pink. Actually, no, this one's not the mambo. This one looks like, what is this? The swivel. So that lug bag. This is adorable. I have never seen a longer burger bag like this before. It's like a mini, a mini basket bag. I'm not sure what this is going to go for. I'm going to say with those lugs, definitely at least $30 a piece, um, maybe $35. This I'm not quite sure of yet. How cute though. How cute is this little longer burger bag? It's even got a little liner in it. <laughs> Thing is this thing's adorable it's kind of like it's like a crossbody crossbody basket bag okay then i got so wait maybe i only have five maybe i only got five i thought i got six maybe i got five so i paid more than ten then okay anyhow that's all good this is a dooney dooney and burke crossbody um kind of strange the way the clasp is like upside down not sure what the value of this is going to be quite yet this thing is squeaky clean but I feel like this will be a nice a nice flip this is a very nice bag very nice bag and then another Dooney I might have sold one of these recently or maybe I have one listed but I feel like it's very similar but it might be a different color I'm gonna have to look into that um, but this Dooney, also a small bag. None of these bags are huge. I mean, this is in such nice condition. It's got a ton of card slots. So it's kind of like a wallet bag, right? But then you can open it up at the top. This thing is like minty. I don't even know if this has ever been used, honestly. Uh, this is a beautiful bag. A beautiful bag. So yeah, I think I will do well with those. I am excited about those. All right. Uh, the one stop I know was on camera. I got this Yadro. Um, this one is Angel Angel Wondering. This is kind of, I paid $10 a piece for the Yadros. And literally these things are hit or miss. They're more miss than they've ever been, honestly. But I decided to just pick it up um, because you never know. And this one on high end has sold for like 50 bucks and on low end it's sold for 20. I'm going to try to go somewhere in the middle with this, maybe 35, maybe 35 on this one. As I said, I did pay 10. Uh, I did get this. Uh, this is that Wake, Wakersbach uh, Christmas tree, pretty common pattern, but this was a pretty nice trivet. It was a dollar. Not sure what I'm going to get for this. Then I got another. This is the other Yadro. This one I did not comp out yet. Um, Angel with flute. She was also $10. Uh, these I got for $5. These um, two, 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 two fifth um, bowls. And I've sold these before or I may even have one listed. I only had one of them though. Because uh, it came out of an auction lot I did and just so there were so many random pieces of dinnerware and some of them were singles so anyway this was a set of four for five dollars I think they'll do well at the same place I got this beautiful tea set I'm sorry it's an espresso set um coffee set espresso uh it's from Italy it is um, Capa de Monte. It is a beautiful set, if you ask me. I paid twenty dollars for it. Um, you heard in the video the lady said, you know, it came right, right, right from Italy. Her grandmother carried it over. It's got this nice. I don't know. Is that is that a dragon or a duck? I think it's kind. Of, I feel like it's. I feel like it might be a dragon. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, you have the coffee pot or the espresso pot. And there's a bunch of plates in here, creamer, 
Um, I don't know. I think it's nice. I'm going to list this sucker for over $100. I will tell you that. You know, it'll have best offer on there, but I think, I really do think this is like a dragon. I am going to have to look more into that. This is the little, um, this is the little sugar. That is so nice. So yeah, there's like a whole set. There's little cups, little saucers. Uh, I don't even know how many pieces this is till I totally uh, open it up. But yeah, that was, that was cool. There we go. Uh, also at the house, I picked up some Lennox, which I do not have over here, but we're just going to say it was in the video. So there was a jeweled duck, I want to say, uh, some fish of some sort, candlesticks. Um, what a great haul. I'm just describing what I bought. Uh, anyhow, I do have to get to work today. I got to get listing done. Um, I need to get this joint cleaned up a little. I need to do stuff at home. So yeah. All right. So the one stop I picked up these Lennox I picked up these three, not sure how these are gonna do, haven't comped them. This is really cute. This is a Ferris wheel with like reindeer. Um, I'm hoping it's all intact. The one looks like it has maybe some issues. So we got three for 10. This one, this one is dated, but it, it kind of reminds me of, oh, it's a Spire. Kind of reminds me of the, the Pearl and something else. So I'll see how these do. This one also may be dated, but I'm not sure. 93 ornament. It says Laddern. Laddern? I've never even heard of a Laddern. Maybe it means lantern? Not spelled correctly? What the heck is a Laddern? Is a Laddern a thing? Anyway, there we have it. Ooh, we almost didn't have it. <laughs> That sucker almost jumped off of this little couch here. Um, okay, let me move some of this stuff out of, way, out of the way and I'll grab a couple other things for your viewing pleasure. Okay, so let's get back into it here. Um, I did get this. This would have been, I mean, it's still a good score. So this is a Michael Aram. I could be saying that. Aram? Aram? It's probably Aram, right? Flows better. Anyway. Um, I saw a Bloomingdale's box at this, uh, yard sale and it was still like kind of gift wrapped. There was like a bow around it. I'm like, let me open this sucker and see what it was, what it is. Uh, and this candle was in it. Only problem is I'm not sure if it was from being out in the yard sale heat. It was very, very hot yesterday or being in my car for several hours, but it started to kind of melt. The oil started coming out. The wicks are still fine. Uh, I did list this already. Had it not been a little bit melted, I would have listed it for like 50 plus shipping. But in this condition, I listed it for 40 plus shipping. It still smells amazing. Sometimes even these empty jars sell for like $30. So I think 40 is definitely a fair price for this. I paid $2 for it. This, this is the lid of the candle. Um, yeah, like I said, I listed it for 40. Even by the time this video is up, maybe it will have even sold by then. I am not sure. Ooh, now my hands are gonna smell like that again. I went to uh, the one stop right after the purses. This lady also was not quite set up yet, but I got some good deals. I got this Bitty Baby doll, and this little Squish, and Squishmallows, guys, they're kind of like, I think it's winding down they're not what they were a year ago or the year before that to be honest but these were so cheap so i just grabbed them anyway um this little guy doesn't have his tags this one does and then i do have one more and i have no idea where it is but i do have another one that came from the same sale and it's also new with tags so for the three squish and the Bitty Baby, it was only $10, which was not bad. I also got these Adidas, um, and I can't remember the exact style name from these, um, even though I have the exact same pair. But these were 
these were six dollars i think i paid like 85 for mine actually no i think i got them when when they're having a sale i might have paid 65 i don't know but i definitely do have the exact same pair these are in great condition i mean like maybe worn maybe worn only a couple times but like the inside you can't really see it but all of the you know logo stuff on the sole or whatever is still there these are just in great condition these are a size nine so they are one size off <laughs> from mine i wear an eight but these are yeah these are a nine women's nine so that was a pretty awesome pickup i'll probably get like 40 to 50 on those also there i picked up this water detector alert helps prevent expensive water damage uh, Doberman security. I like picking up little things like this because it's so easy to just list and ship and store and everything. Have not looked this up, so I'm not sure what I'm going to get for it, but um, I'll post comps or pop my listing up on the screen here so you guys can see that. Um, I also got one last thing I got from that sale for a dollar was this uh notebook it says b5 size rough notebook diary rough notebook diary i don't know what that means um i thought it was really nice and sometimes i will use um notebooks to you know just kind of write some listings down so i have them so i can like take them home with me so i'm not always having to sit at the warehouse and list um so i'll just write you know a brief you know, weight of the item, where it's at, like its inventory location. And then, you know, if, if I have the photos and I can just kind of list the stuff from home. Um, but then I realized once I got home, once I got back to the warehouse, not home, once I got back to the warehouse, I realized that only like the first maybe 40, 50 pages are lined. And then we go into like that graph kind of style. And then these are like, half sheets or something they're perforated in the middle and they're blank so I'm gonna see if this is worth popping up online because it's not really something that I'm gonna want to use so yeah we'll see but it was a dollar uh, another sale I picked up this little Yankee Candle house probably not gonna be a crazy sale and then this is one of those Yankee Candle scent plugs dragonfly it lights up it was four dollars for the both of these which is really a little steep i should have only paid like a dollar each because these like i said these are not going to go for a crazy amount just kind of um it's kind of like fluff for my store you know it's like um items that are just going to they're gonna they're just they're gonna sell but they're not you know very um not super profitable not super but you know what i have enough space to store this kind of stuff and it's almost like, you know, stocking stuffers or whatever. People do look for that stuff. And then when it sells, it's just super easy to ship and everything. These I ended up getting for $5. Uh, they look like look like maybe they were worn once, if even that, honestly. Um, they're in pretty great condition. They're born, or the BOC born concept boots. Uh, if these were like heavily worn, I wouldn't have picked them up, but they were $5 and they're just in really great condition. Uh, what size are they? They are an eight and a half, eight and a half brown leather ankle boots. So lastly, we are going to get into this big $85 purchase and then we're going to wrap it up because this video is going to be very long. Now, this stuff I know I did pick up like on camera. Um, probably all of it. Oh, look, this is the other squish, the other squish mala that I was missing five, five minutes ago, two minutes ago. Anyway, spent $85 on all of this stuff. This is what I got. Um, oh, and I did, I did pick up some at the beginning of this particular sale. I picked up some Young Living, um, like bottles of oils and they were sealed. So I was like, you know, heck yeah. I ended up putting those back at the end because they wanted $10 a bottle and I just, that may have been worth it to be honest. It may have been, I didn't look up comps or anything, but I ended up putting those two back. So here's what I got for $85. I got this Wiser Energy 
um, kind of like an energy monitor, basically. She had it tagged 25, I got it for $20, uh, but this is in the total of the 85 bucks. Uh, new and open box, the, the woman worked for the company. This should sell for about 100, 125. Um, then super excited about this and I might keep it. I'm not sure. I love the color. I love, love, love this color. This is a Lululemon belt bag. Um, this looks like the 1.5 something size. It looks, I actually purchased, um, from Lululemon, a black belt bag a few weeks ago but it's bigger. It's a little, a little bit bigger than this. So this one's a smaller one in green. It does have a couple very faint surface marks. I'm going to see if I can take those off with a shout wipe, but the interior is super clean. Um, yeah, this was $10. I really want to keep it. I might keep it. I'm thinking I'm going to keep it. Um, I really do think I'm going to keep this. So we'll see what happens. It may end up, how many belt bags do I need? Honestly, um, I have like two from Peloton. Now I have a, and my Lululemon crossbody, which is like toast. I need to, I need to replace that. I've used that thing for like three years. Um, but I love hooking my GoPro on the strap when I'm out at yard sales. It just works so well. And I haven't found a comfortable way to put it on the belt bag um because i do typically like just wear these over this one though i feel like this one has a longer strap i might be able to hook it up on here i don't know i tried on my black one and it ended up, ended up being like all crooked and weird i don't know i love i might keep this these are great though if you're going to like an amusement park and you just need to carry a few things on you but you don't want it like you know flying away or something I love the color and I, I think I'm going to order another crossbody soon and get it in this color. Like I literally love this color. Okay. Can you tell I'm excited about that? All right. This is, I've never heard of this brand. She even gave me the hanger, but it was a dollar. Like what? This thing is so fluffy. It is camo. Katie did. It is so soft. Katie did. It's a large... Like, what would you wear this thing for? I feel like I'm pimped out right now. Like, what is this? <laughs> oh, this, this, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I love camo print. I mean, can, can you tell? Like, look at this, right? So. Uh, who it's too hot to have this thing on right now, but this is nice. I, I like this. I'm not going to lie. I like this. So fluffy. I'm going to have to look this up, but for a dollar, come on. Um, this I loved and I feel like something's going on with it. Oh, one of the, I think like a little string to some of the embroidery came a little bit loose so that might need a little repair it looked really good when it was hanging there then you throw it in a bag with like all kinds of other stuff this is lulu's and i've sold lulu's like so many times and it just it always seems to sell for me so this is like a reminds me of like a flapper dress this emerald green color this is a large that will get listed um, I got another Lulu's dress. This one's new, new with tags. It's kind of like a wrap, a wrap dress. This is going to have to definitely go on the mannequin. Here I am buying all these clothes, but some clothes I like to buy, you know, but I don't know. I could never be just a full-time clothing seller because that would like end up ripping my soul out um these are nike dry fit size medium i don't know i like the print on these they're not gonna bring a whole lot oh here <laughs> these are shoved in here too these are from a different sale these are more squishmallows these are just little mystery packs i'm like two for three dollars so i don't know probably not a crazy amount on those but they'll sell 
uh let's see what else what else do we have in here yes i know i picked these up on camera i think i picked all these these are eddie bauer fleece lined these should definitely do well uh then i got this carhartt jacket it's a large size 12 14 i guess it's a women's large um I kind of thought maybe it was kids, but I'm like, no, I think it is women's. So yeah, I think that should do pretty, pretty decent. And I got this Thrasher magazine sweatshirt. I'm actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to text my daughter, Jordan, and see if she wants these. She lives in sweatshirts, so... I think she might like this one. So I'm going to probably give that to her. Oh, these. Oh, these are so nice. I don't even know the style of these. Um, but these are Lululemon. I will have to. I will have to see if I can find. The style. I should have asked the girl because I said, what size are they? I could have like been searching for the size dot. And there it is. There's the size dot. Um, but I did ask her anyway, like, you know, what size are they? And she said they're size eight. So I'm looking at them and I'm like, cause I was thinking about keeping them, but I might just sell them. I might just sell these. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'd fit in them today, but I'm hoping that like soon, but I don't know. I, I think I might probably sell these. I'm not as excited about these as I am the uh, belt bag, obviously. But I'm, I'm still excited to find these um, because these are like fantastic. I did pay 10 for them, but I definitely think that's worth it. I think they, not even knowing the style, I'm going to say at least 50. All right, now we're into the shoes, baby. Now we are into the shoes. I got this pair of Mellow Walk. So these are like, um, they're called Jessica. These are an 8E. So these are like safety shoes, work shoes. They're like, um, what do they call that? Electric something or other. I don't know. I, I don't, I've never even heard of this brand, but I'm like, well, they're new. Let's, let's grab them. So we'll see about these mellow walks. But yeah, the, they're like electrical safety, um, so you're not going to get electrocuted and stuff like that. Oh, steel toe. I don't even know what I paid for half of these shoes, but some of them are marked. But anyhow, like I said, they were, uh, it was an $85 total. These are Nobles. Um, super fabric. What size? What size are these? Oh, these are, s oh, a well, women's eight. It was men's six and a half, women's eight. Um, yeah, I think these will sell decently. I sold a pair of high tops for like 50 bucks, maybe more than 50 bucks, um, a few weeks ago. So yeah, those are decent for the $3 price. These are, I don't even know what these, these are Jordan, Jordan something or other size eight, pretty good condition. I mean, they got, they have a little bit of stuff there i'll take like the um if i can find it i do have like a leather suede brush type thing I need to get all my supplies in order i move stuff around or i'll use it in one part of the warehouse and i'll put it down and then i'm like oh my god where is it so anyhow these are otherwise these are a pretty nice pair of pretty nice pair of jordans uh and then i have this pair of nikes these are also in pretty good Pretty good condition need a little no need a light gentle cleaning <laughs> oh this video is gonna be so long okay these tree torn never ever heard of these boots but they look pretty good so i decided to give them a whirl and lastly this is another pair of nikes i don't even know what these things are but we'll check it out and get them listed so yeah that's going to wrap up this haul. This video is getting really, 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 really long. So this is where we're ending it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed another video 
And uh, if you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.